Hello, John Warnberger here from Speech Recognition Solutions. Today I want to give you a brief tour of the Speechware 6-in-1 microphone. Even from a distance you will see that this product is beautifully constructed and made to last. The boom is long, 18 inches, and detachable, so the whole unit is easily portable. The microphone element is highly sensitive and accurate. It has a built-in speaker with associated volume controls. It has a mute button which can be programmed in a number of ways. A small switch on the underside of the base allows you to determine how the mute button works. And finally, it has a mode button which allows you to toggle between a speech recognition and a normal mode. More about that in a minute. From the back of the unit you will see some additional features. This is a USB microphone and contains all the circuitry to convert your voice into the digital signal used by Dragon or other computer applications. The large jack in the center is for connection to your Mac or PC with the included USB cord. Other jacks on the back include an accessory USB port, a sound out jack for use with a headset, a microphone input jack if you want to use it with a secondary headset microphone, and finally, a foot pedal jack if you choose to use the or control the microphone with an optional foot pedal. Beyond the foot pedal, the unit has one additional optional feature, which is a telescoping boom, which can vary between 16 and 24 inches. This is a first among desktop microphones. Unique to this product is the ability to use the microphone in any of three modes the speech rack or equalizer mode, the normal mode, and the accessory mic mode. So let's briefly review the three modes. Most speech recognition users will want to use it in the speech rack or equalizer mode. In this mode, circuitry to automatically adjust the gain of your microphone input signal allows use from a large spread of workable distances, anywhere from about 10 to 20 inches from the tip of the boom. This is a first in a desktop microphone and possible only because of the amazing noise canceling cir circuitry of this product. The speech rack mode is chosen by pressing the mode button until the indicator light is green. The normal mode, on the other hand, is designed for situations in which you need the most intense rejection of external noise or when you need the most realistic sounding audio. When in this mode, the auto gain circuitry is not employed and, like any high quality noise rejecting microphone, you need to speak fairly closely to the microphone element, ideally within a couple of inches. Digital signal uh, processing for removal of external noise is still active in the normal mode. Speech recognition software users will want to use this mode only if there is moderate or high levels of external noise. Finally, if you want to use your favorite headset microphone and at the same time take advantage of the external noise rejecting characteristics of the 6-in-1 circuitry, you can simply plug your headset into the accessory microphone port and enjoy the best of both. In other words, the advantages of your favorite headset microphone and the added noise rejecting algorithms incorporated into the 6-in-1 circuit board. So why is this microphone so special? Putting it all together, we feel there are three features that truly make this a unique product for the speech recognition user. First is the highly sensitive and accurate microphone element. Second is the equalizer technology that automatically adjusts the gain to allow use from a variety of working distances from the microphone element. But perhaps most important to the success of this product is the highly effective digital signal processing or noise canceling algorithms which seem to make external noise literally melt away and not affect dictation. Less important but still great features of this product are the accessory USB jack, the option of using a foot pedal, and its compatibility with multiple operating systems. Just as a picture tells a thousand words, seeing the Speechware 6-in-1 in action truly tells the story of its unique capabilities. For the purpose of the demonstration, I will record directly from the 6-in-1 and in its speech rec mode, which employs all of the advantages of this product. You will notice a difference in the character of the sound, a slightly hollow tone, which is a byproduct of the extensive digital signal processing. Keep in mind that it is use with speech recognition software that this microphone is all about. In the demonstration that follows, I will be dictating both with and without contaminating noise. The noise will be coming from speakers about three feet behind the microphone and turned up to a level, a sound level between 70 and 80 decibels, that is the sound of loud human speech, 
as measured adjacent to the tip of the microphone boom. Test recording with the Speechware 6-in-1 microphone, initially with no noise and at about 10 inches from the microphone element. This is a 55-year-old man who comes to clinic today for evaluation of chest pain, period. He was doing well until about a week ago when he noted the new onset of substernal chest discomfort, period. His initial symptoms were described as a, open quote, pressing, close quote, feeling in his central chest with radiation to his left arm, comma, throat, comma, and jaw, period. Symptoms have been occurring increasingly frequently, period. Last night, he developed symptoms at rest, period. Now I'm going to turn on music at about, uh, about uh, 70 to 80 decibels. Turn the microphone back on. New paragraph. On physical examination today, he appeared in no acute distress, period. His blood pressure was 120 over 70, comma, pulse 80 in regular, comma, and weight 144 pounds, period. Head exam was unremarkable, period. On examination of his neck, he had no JVD, comma, thyromegaly, comma, or bruise, period. Now I'm going to move to about 20 inches with the music still playing. His lungs were clear to auscultation and percussion, period. His heart exam revealed a normal first and second heart sound, period. The second heart sound was physiologically split, period. He had a grade 3 over 6 holosystolic murmur at the apex, suggestive of mitral regurgitation, period. His abdomen was soft and non-tender, without organomegaly, comma, masses, comma, or aortic enlargement, period. His extremities were non-edematous, period. To put the external noise rejection capabilities of this microphone in perspective, I show you now a big picture view of the testing conditions and the relative volume of my voice and the contaminating noise. Special thanks to my visiting brother-in-law, Randy Schaefer, a professional video photographer who was given nothing but an iPhone for the recording that follows. On physical examination, he appeared in no acute distress period. His blood pressure was 110 over 70, comma, pulse 80 in regular, comma, and weight 155 pounds, period. Normal neck, normal lungs. His heart exam revealed a normal first and second heart sound period. The second heart sound was physiologically split period. There was a grade 3 over 6 holosystolic murmur at the apex period. New paragraph. 12 lead EKG colon. How does this product actually perform? I've been testing it for almost two weeks and with both Dragon 10 Medical and Dragon 11, the medical practice edition. In the dictation room in cardiology, with occasional noise from colleagues, from phones, etc., I found it to work extremely well. In fact, being accustomed to using the handheld PowerMic 2, it was a welcome change to have my hands free for occasional keyboard navigation within my electronic health record. The boom on this microphone is long enough that I positioned the microphone behind my laptop and worked about 10 to 15 inches from the tip of the boom. In terms of actual accuracy, it seemed to perform every bit as well as the Sennheiser ME3 and the Dictaphone Power Mic 2, although like any microphone, it noticed loud contaminating noise, particularly when it came in the direction of the front of the microphone element. Being accustomed to a microphone positioned right in front of my mouth, I noticed a tendency to talk louder than I needed to when using the 6-in-1, but with time I came to realize that speaking at a normal volume was perfectly fine with this unit. Formal testing of the microphone in the controlled setting of my home office, using both the rainbow passage and some prepared medical text, was truly phenomenal and is shown in this table. At 10 and 20 inches, both with and without fairly loud contaminating noise, I got only one error in literally thousands of words of repeated testing. While these findings need to be taken with a grain of salt because they do not involve spontaneous dictation, but rather more controlled reading by an experienced speech recognition user, and because the contaminating noise was continuously playing music rather than the more random kind of noise that occurs in real life, these results are nonetheless like nothing I have seen before. Putting it all together, this is, in our opinion, a unique table-mounted microphone which offers features and characteristics not seen in any other product. 
First, as a table-mounted microphone, it does not need to be held or worn. Second, because of its auto gain or equalizer technology, it can be used from a variety of working distances depending upon your personal preference and will give excellent results anywhere between 10 and 20 inches. Third, it employs noise canceling algorithms that provide an unprecedented level of external noise rejection. And finally, it is built to last and comes with a two year manufacturer's warranty. Particularly for the speech recognition user, this is an amazing product. By the way, if you don't need the foot pedal option or the onboard speaker, you might also consider the slightly more economical 3-in-1 microphone, which, with the second generation circuit board, offers identical accuracy and noise cancellation seen with the 6-in-1, but with a 2-inch shorter boom. For more information on the 6-in-1 or any other of our products, please visit our website.